so let us first just briefly recall that the normal developmental anxiety and what is abnormal anxiety right so developmentally normal anxiety where just few examples 0 to 6 months about loud noise loss of physical touch 6 to 9 or uh, 7 to 9 months or 7 to 10 months stranger anxiety 10 18 to 36 months or to up to 2 to 2 and 1/2 years separation anxiety right when the st uh, kid starts going to school or before that if we say preschool fear regarding imaginary figures dark fear regarding darkness fear regarding animals that may be normal while joining the school initial adjustment issues going to school newer places that may be normal during the doll sense the peer scrutiny uh, concerns regarding the image that may produce normal anxiety and any in adults change of job change of uh, residence change of city life events marriage uh, loss of loved one but they are all normal phenomena because they don't cross the boundaries so basically the developmentally inappropriate are called as pathological disorders what we talked about was the normal development anxiety and it lasts only for a brief period of time that does not have significant impairment on the routine functioning so these are the basically differentiating points between normal and abnormal so abnormal we'll call it when it is persistent so we'll see most of the criteria as per dsm it's 6 months icd means in several months there are certain uh, additional features when it comes to children but mostly it's 6 months that that is a huge amount of time out of proportion this is also important a person who's uh, having fear or anxiety about anything normally yes there will be a proportion in which maximum people will be having that level of anxiety but it is out of proportion of the actual threat and based on the social uh, context then we call it as pathological anxiety obviously severity and impairment it is hindering the daily functions it is very severe in nature it is impairing your personal social occupational uh, or educational life then we call it as anxiety is abnormal or pathological and hence these parameters are important when we consider anxiety disorders mm -hmm.